If we pay the salaries of the congressmen and the senators, we're supporting them, aren't we? Well, yes. Yeah. Well, then why can't we list them as dependents and deduct them? <laughs> Is a law requiring the payment of federal income taxes, right? No. In fact, no such law exists. I really expected that, of course, there's a law that you can point to in the law book, the code, that requires you to file a tax return. Of course, there is. There is no law. There is no law that requires the average American worker in the private sector to pay a direct unapportioned tax on their labor and compensation for services. There is no law. America, Freedom to Fascism is a documentary produced by the late, great Aaron Russo. It is a definitive piece on the topic. Do you pay an income tax? Yes, I do. Uh, of late. Well, actually, no, I didn't file last year, but uh, I'm sorry, is this on film? No, I paid my tax. The income tax is not legal because it would be a direct tax and it is not apportioned as the Constitution demands. If it's against the Constitution, then why are we doing it? Aaron Russo was the award-winning producer of major motion pictures such as Teachers, The Rose, and Trading Places. I had the honor of knowing Aaron personally in his final months of life before he succumbed to cancer in 2007. The information in this episode is excerpted directly from that documentary, which you may view in its entirety by going to the following website, www.freedomtofascism.com. As early as 1894, the Supreme Court of the United States ruled that the power to tax wages was unconstitutional. However, Congress later passed the 16th Amendment in 1913 in order to impose a bona fide income tax. At that time, President Woodrow Wilson said, I am a most unhappy man. I have unwittingly ruined a nation. America is now controlled by a system of credit. By system of credit, he was referring to the accompanying establishment of the Federal Reserve. The 16th Amendment conferred no new powers of taxation and was not ratified by the states. Furthermore, the U.S. Constitution specifies that any direct tax must be apportioned, meaning divided equally among all people. As you know, the personal income tax is not. I believe that in both spirit and substance, our tax system has come to be un-American. But aren't income taxes vital to provide essential services? No. Education is paid for by property taxes. Highways are paid for by the various taxes on gasoline. Defense was paid for by corporate taxes, which are entirely legal. However, defense expenditures have ballooned to such an extent that even corporate taxes in their entirety are not at this time sufficient. As recently as 2005, legal corporate taxes were $278 billion, while illegal personal taxes were $927 billion. The controversy continues. On August 31, 2005, federal judge Emmett Sullivan ruled that the government is not even required to answer the American people's questions as to the legality or existence of the personal tax law, despite the guarantees afforded by the First Amendment. The IRS has refused to show any laws requiring payment of personal income taxes despite a voluminous code now the size of a rather large telephone directory. This small booklet includes the Constitution of the United States, the Bill of Rights, the Declaration of Independence. It's a document which freed an entire nation. This is the Internal Revenue Code. 
and this document and it, the unlawful application of this document by the Internal Revenue Service has enslaved the nation that this document attempted to free. According to Bill Clinton, while questioned about the legality of personal taxation on March 11th, 1993, we can't be fixated on our desire to preserve the rights of ordinary Americans. What? The IRS code itself states that the personal income tax is voluntary. Your income tax is 100% voluntary and your liquor tax is a 100% enforced tax. The code does not even define the term income. The Supreme Court has ruled income as constituting gains from corporate activity. It has further ruled that employment is considered private property in the context of being exchanged for any form of payment. None of any of the Supreme Court rulings have yet to be overturned. At the time of this episode's initial web broadcast, the tax season will have been in full swing. We're not advocating you ignore turning in your 1040s or not complying with the rather mysterious if non-existent laws requiring you to do so. In the spirit of being responsible about the whole thing until we can get straight answers to simple questions, here's a disclaimer. This is for informational purposes only. The information contained within in no way represents legal, tax, or financial advice. Please consult with your legal, tax, or financial advisor. In other words, don't try this at home, kids. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry, Mr. Winthorpe, but the IRS has frozen your accounts. What are you talking about? You know me. You're a heroin dealer, Mr. Winthorpe. Commodities are agricultural products, like coffee that you had for breakfast, wheat, which is used to make bread, pork bellies, which is used to make bacon, which you might find in a bacon and lettuce and tomato sandwich. Aren't you going to take attendance? Oh, yes. Come on, Danny, you forgot to carry over the ah! We're not teaching these kids. I can't hear you, Alex. I can't hear you. We're doing it again. I can't hear you.